everyone, how's it going? So today's mini album is using, uh, surprise surprise, a Craft Smart paper stack. Uh, so it is the Chateau paper stack. It has been sitting in my collection for quite a while, waiting for me to use it. I've just been kind of waiting for the right inspiration to pop into my head. And although this album wasn't what I had planned, I thought it came out very beautifully. And so uh, a lot of the colors are like nice and muted. As you can see, there's a lot of pinks and blues in there, which is right up my alley. And so, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, one thing about this album, the cover and the pages are exactly the same size, only because I ran out of chipboard that was the same, or that was bigger than the actual album, and I didn't realize. So um, I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's not hurting anyone, you know. <laughs> and so, anyways, uh, it is a five and a half by seven. And so, uh, first thing when you see here, I have like these wooden chipboards with some homemade flowers and I'll do a little close up of them so you can see. So these are the homemade flowers and then I have some little, uh, other little roses that I had in my collection. And then, um, these are the Heidi Swap font, um, wooden, um, I don't know if you can see there's dimension on there, but like wooden, um, words. And so when I see these at Tuesday morning, I always hoard them because I just love the way they look on actual covers of the mini albums. And then I have this ribbon that I pleated with, um, uh, on top of this pink, white, whitish pink glitter canvas. And then we have this, um, little bow that I made. I did, one day I just sat down and made a whole bunch of little felts and glitter canvas bows. So that's what we got going on there. And then, of course, this foil paper, which is the same as the front cover. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this album. So when we open it up, you'll see this um, beautiful light blue paper. That's going to be the front and the same in the back. And you can fit a 5 by 7 photo on here, although I don't have one to show you. You can fit one on there. And so, um, anyways, this is a page that I took inspiration from my last album. It has a little pocket with another little flap that tucks behind the image. And so this image is I got from the um, Heritage cartridge. And if you hear some clickety clacket in the background, I apologize. My husband and I share an office and he's working right now and he's always on his computer. And so you'll just hear them, him uh, clicking away on his computer. But anyways, um, uh, in this little pocket, I have a little journaling tag and a photo mat. So this is the journaling tag. It did come in the paper collection. And then this is a photo mat that I'll I'll hold a 4x6 photo. There we are. And then as you can see, there is a little bit of shine on this uh, cardstock. It was just laying around in my collection. Um, and so I thought I'd use it because um, it fit perfectly in this album. So anyways, here's what that pocket looks by itself. Let's go ahead and slide those back in. And it just tucks in there. There we go. Um, and then all of these are pocket pages. And I'll pull three of them out because I only have three different patterns. But here's the first one. And it will fit a 4 by 6 photo with a really um, ample amount of border around there. So I thought that's very pretty there. And then when we turn this page. Um, so this is a triple flat page. I was supposed to magnetize it, but I totally forgot. And so, uh, anyways, it ended up turning out like this, which is still fine. But anyways, I added this, um, these stickers down here that say the word sweet, and it is like white foam, and it will fit a, um, I think a, let me see, this is a three and a half by three and a half. So yeah, I did leave some room in the back of those flowers, and so you can kind of adjust the picture, whether it's bigger or smaller, according to, um, <clears throat> you know, whoever receives it. And then the same thing down here, I did leave it open in the back. There we go, you can see. And you can put a photo up here. And then I left it open back here and right here. So, I mean, you could even put a, um, you know, a three by three photo up here with some journaling or another wallet photo. And then when we turn it, this is a spot for a uh, four by four photo. But if you need to put a larger photo, it is open on the back. There we go. And you can add some journaling down here on this little scroll. And a lot of the Cricut images are from the um, Heritage cartridge because they have, like, when I'm doing something kind of like old school or shabby chic like this, I like to use that cartridge. And so um, with this page, I really love the uh, blue flowers that are down here. And so I just added this um, gold foil title up here because I didn't want it to be too thick of an embellishment, but also I didn't want it to distract from those blue flowers. And so... Um, this album, I mean, this page is really fun. Um, it says Adventure in Gold Foil. 
and it is a thickers you guys I am obsessed with thickers now I've never had any prior to the last haul that I had <laughs> and now when I go to Tuesday morning I am like such a hoarder for those <laughs> and so anyways um, this is a spot for a three and a half by three and a half photo but it will fit a three and three quarter by three and three quarter photo so whoever gets this album I would definitely leave a template for them uh, to be able to uh, fit their photo into here but with a three and a half by three and a half you still get that lovely pink border around there uh, but anyways, I just added some pearls um, and then some um, clay part flowers right back there. So then, here's this pocket. Here we go. This one's so pretty. And it, again, 4x6 photo on all of them. There we go. The only thing about that's sad about this one is you cover that pattern paper. So you could always put the picture on the back and journaling on the front if you like. And so uh, when we turn the page, this one right here alone will fit... Um, eight four four by four pictures so uh, let me go ahead and find one there's a four by four picture and so it just says let go and I did a little cascading waterfall so here we go there we go I left enough to be able to have um, the pattern paper showing in that background there so there we go so they're all double-sided and then of course you could always put one down here and then um, for this one I believe it is um, Willow, Willow Lane, Maggie Home, something like that. Uh, clip art that I had bought from um, AC Digitals. I believe that's what it's called. And then I just made a sideways pocket. So very pretty paper. And then these are some little, I don't know if you can see in the background, but some little labels that came in the collection. And I just decided to collage them in the background. And so this, of course, came in the collection. And then this is just a photo mat that, um, I used and it is a four by five obviously you'd have to trim this down a bit if you wanted to see that pattern paper but it will fit a four by five photo there okay so those just fit in there and then here's that last pattern cardstock that'll fit the four by six photo blank on the back okay and then when we turn this page it's a really fun belly band page I really love this tree um, again, that heart heritage cartridge coming in for me. And then um, here is just a little journaling card. And then this is a photo mat. Again, that'll hold a 4x6 photo. There we are with that gold foiled paper. Uh, I said today, just like a gold shimmer paper. And so uh, this is a sticker. And this is You Are My Sunshine. And then I just added these hearts as well. Those hearts are thickers. Um, and so I thought it just looked really cute. I just really love it. I don't know what it is. And so anyways, this page is super fun too. Um, I really love this fence. I'm going to do a close-up on it because it's just so pretty. And so um, it had little um, spikes over here, but I cut them all off and I wanted to do pearls to give it a little bit more dimension. And I just love the way it came out. And so you could do a photo up here if you like, but I did just kind of make it into a little pocket to put a little tag in there. There we are. And then when we open it this way, we have a spot for a photo here. Again, with some corners that I just cut out from that cartridge. And then a spot for uh, a 4 by 6 photo, I believe. There we go. And then uh, this <clears throat> this one right here will probably best be a, with a 3 and a 3 quarter photo. There you go. Alright. And so then, we'll get to the next page. Alright, so over here is another side pocket with more photo mats in here. I just really wanted this album to be about the pages because the designs were so beautiful. And so um, this is just a tag that came in the collection. I just left it blank on the back. You could always put a photo there. And then again, one of those photo mats. There we are. And so um, this is one of the images that came on the paper collection itself. So I didn't want to do too much because it is already a gold foiled paper. You can see there. So I just added a little wooden um, embellishment here and then just a little uh, gold foil um, sticker there. It says I adore you. There we are. Okay, and so this little booklet is a little magnetized booklet. Um, this part was part of the paper collection again and I just added some thickers right here. And then when you open it up you can fit a photo here. And you can fit some wallet size photos here if you like. But I just added some little journaling tags in here. Um, you know, to 
to write something on them but it is a little magnetized book right there so it won't come off and then over here again that really lovely blue paper I just added a doily on top with the word memories and this little um, head silhouette and then it's a spot for a photo right up here so that's what that pocket looks like without that photo mat in there and it just tucks nicely in there <clears throat> and then for this page I just as always with some little pearl beads right up top and then clip art in the back and so this will fit a four by five and it is open on the back right here there we go so that way you can just <clears throat> slide your photo in and get the little collage effect of those roses in the background and then last page last but not least uh, it says dream and I added some little pearls on here with little clip art little collage of stuff and then when you open it up you can fit a photo right here a photo right here and it is open on the back a photo right here and then a photo right here so a lot of spots for photos in this little tiny album and again you can always put another five by seven right here and you still have those other um, three pockets right up here and so uh, let me know what you guys think of this album I, I had really fun time making it it only took me like three days to put it together so uh, let me know your thoughts and we'll see you in the next video bye